Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to find volume in cubic feet. This will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. Now, if you want to find volume, you basically have to multiply your width, your height, and your depth. So I'll write that down at the top, okay? I'll write it down in short form, as you can see. Your volume is equal to your width times your height times your depth. And obviously these can be in any order because you're multiplying them all. Now the first example is when you have the dimensions that are already in feet, okay? So I'm gonna write down what each of the dimensions are, okay? So as you can see, my width is going to be four feet. So my writing is pretty messy, I do apologize. My height is going to be one foot, as you can see right there, and my depth is going to be five feet. And to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter which one you consider to be, which is your width, which is your depth, which is your height, because I can turn this box and it would be the other way around. The numbers would be all switched up. As long as you're multiplying those three numbers together, that's all that matters. So what we have here is four times one times five. When we multiply all of those numbers together, we're gonna get 20. And this is already measured in feet, so this would be 20 feet cubed. So we put a little three on the top right there to signify cubed. So that's what you do if it's already in feet, okay? You just multiply your width, your height, and your depth. Very easy to do. Now, if your uh, dimensions are in inches or centimeters or anything else, you're gonna have to convert them to feet, okay? So what I have here are dimensions that I've considered to be in inches. So we're gonna take each of these dimensions and we are going to convert them into feet, and then we can multiply them together. So first and foremost, we have our height. We'll start with the height because it's nice and easy. So our height is going to be three inches. So three inches, okay? Three inches is actually one quarter of a foot, okay? Or 0 0.25 feet. So that's our first dimension, 0 0.25. We're looking for not necessarily a fraction, but a decimal number, okay? So 0 0.25 feet, okay? Now next we're gonna go with our width. So our width, okay? Our width is 15 inches, okay? Which is actually more than a foot because a foot is 12 inches. So 15 inches is actually a foot plus three inches. So it's gonna be one and one quarter feet or 1.25 feet, okay? So that's what uh, we're converting each of them to feet. Um, and then last but not least, we have our depth, which our depth is actually going to be uh, 12 inches. 12 inches, okay, which is actually exactly one foot. I made it nice and easy, okay? Um, so it's one foot, once again, um, it's just converted to, it's one foot, it's like 1.0 feet. So now we have our three numbers in decimal form, or in numeral form, I should say, like with numbers, um, that are converted into feet. So what I wanna do now is I wanna multiply all three of these numbers. So we're gonna take these three numbers. I have them written down over here on the side. I already did the calculation on a separate sheet of paper off camera. Um, so it might be in a different order, but we're gonna take this one right here. So one, okay, times 1.25, okay, times 0 0.25. So when you multiply those numbers together and you put them in a calculator, you're actually gonna get 0 0.3125 feet cubed, okay? So the answer when I multiply these together is 0 0.3125, okay? And then you, I put my feet and then I put my cubed symbol because whenever you're calculating volume, especially in cubic feet, it's cubed, which is just a little three on the top there, as you can see right there. But that's it, that is essentially how to find volume in cubic feet, a simple tutorial. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.